morning and welcome to today's vlog. How are you all? I hope you had a wonderful Easter. As I film this, it's quite sunny. Stephen and Aoife are playing football. Erin's on the trampoline because now she's got a neck brace. I'm in my swimming costume, but I have got a beach dress on as well. Um, I'd made myself a cup of tea. And I thought what I would do is I would, I did a boots order. Oh my gosh, this is, what's it called? Not juggling, multitasking. I did a boots order um, because we're trying to go to the shops, the supermarket every other week unless we can get a delivery slot which we we are quite struggling with so that's currently what we're doing and when Stephen's in there he's getting stuff for mo his mom and also stuff for us and I don't want to go oh could you just pop down the toiletries and go and pick me up some x y and z so I thought I would show you just kind of the stuff that I've had delivered took it took about a week and a bit to get this which is you know, not a problem at all. Like in the current climate, I'm just glad I've got some toiletries. So I'll show you some of the stuff that I've run out of and that I'm kind of stocking up on. As I mentioned in last week's vlog, thanks so much if you watched it. I'm glad you enjoyed the home dye. It's still looking all right. Uh, I couldn't get hair dye. And my sister said that she was struggling to get hair dye in line. So, but I've got about five weeks before I need to start worrying about that. So I'll show you some of the stuff I got. I got cotton wool pads to take off my makeup. I picked up some Sensodyne. I have quite sensitive teeth, so I got some Sensodyne toothpaste. I also um, got some tampons. I get Boots own brand because they're just as good as the kind of name brand ones and they're often like two packs for two pounds. I also picked up some shine spray. Hi Ethan. Hi. I picked up some shine spray. Oh he wanted to know when daddy was getting the hose out. I got some shine spray which is one of, and I've run out of this. This is one of my favourites. It smells so nice and it just makes your hair feel all shiny. So Lee Stafford shine spray. That was in a three for two so I think I got three to put in my little drawer. A cupboard full of all my um like the stuff that I keep for the year when I buy three for two stuff. Um I also got some shampoo and conditioner. This wasn't on offer. I don't tend to like to buy this when it wasn't on offer, but I was like I was running out. So I got the L'Oreal Alvive Colour Protect Shampoo and I also got the Colour Protect Conditioner because that's the shampoo and conditioner I love. Old old subscribers remember you remember the yellow one that they did for blonde hair that was my favorite oh sigh it does not exist anymore they do do a yellow one but it's not the same one that they used to do for blonde hair i also picked up a deodorant which is good because you know smelly times um i've just got some um cucumber eye gel i i was using some eye gel and i've run out but actually when i looked in my little cupboard of products i did have one but this is this would be nice for the summer just some relaxing eye gel i also got another sensodyne i may i think that might have been an error of judgment but that'll that'll last me a while the kids have special um special kids toothpaste they don't use sense on they don't like men's toothpaste i did try to look for some a metal razor because lots of you recommended on instagram a metal razor could you leave your recommendations below i went to the dollar tree club thing and i got really confused and then actually i think they're not selling they're not sending stuff out um at the moment so let me know but i picked up some razors just some big razors but let me know because i would like to use metal ones because evidently they're better and they're better for the environment as well what else? Now this is disappointing. I, I got some Optase dry eye spray, which actually was quite expensive. And it's tiny. I thought it was going to be a big thing. It's another case of Emma not looking at the size of things. Oh, but you can keep this for six months. Sometimes you can only keep them for a month. But I'm getting very, very dry eyes at the moment. And I don't know why I am, but I am. So I've got some, so when my Asda ones run out, I will I will swap to this one. It says 300 doses. So 
that you might do it in the morning and the evening so it'll last six months. That's, you know what? It keeps my eyes from being dry. That's good enough for me. So there's just some of the little bits and pieces really. Um, I won't have to do another one now. Now I've got deodorant, I've got tampons. I've got some tampons upstairs so that'll last me a couple of months. So hopefully by the next time I need to get to Boots, this will all be over. Or maybe I'll feel a bit braver to go to the shops. I'm not, we're just not going. I'm not, I haven't been anywhere. Go for a walk. That's about it. Um, that's, that's the extent. Um, so there you go. Just thought I'd show you that. I also have just had a few spring bits and pieces that come from ASOS. And I'm going to do, because lots of you wanted me to do a, um, like, outfit lookbook video which I think I will do I'm not sure how popular it will be but I'm gonna try so I just got a couple of pieces I'm also gonna mix in old items of clothing that I've already got um, and just kind of get steam to film me like around the garden doing a little lookbook but can you see in my arms oh my god it looks even worse on the camera can you see there and then I've come out in really bad, really bad heat rash. Um, and it's not even that hot. When I went to Florida, not last time, the time before, I had a heat rash over the whole of my face. My whole face just went like, oh, it was, it was absolutely terrible. But yeah, it's not bites. Because we thought it, I thought it was bites, but it's not. It's heat rash. Any suggestions of how not to get heat rash? I would like to know. I am a pale delicate english rose that gets covered in heat rush at the sight of the sun right i'm going to go back in the garden and i will see you in a bit hello it's midday we're after the bank holiday no we're on the bank holiday weekend what am i talking about um the kiddos are playing computer with steven i think i mentioned in the last clip we got no we didn't we got animal crossing from the easter bunny and we're all obsessed so my plan today is to put away the Easter stuff um, and maybe think of some sort of design design for... That's so loud, boys! Play some sort of racing game. And put some sort of maybe springy, summery display up using stuff that I've already got in my garage. I have got a box labelled Summer. So I'm going to dig that out. So the fireplace here. I am going to keep the pom-pom wreath because I absolutely love it, but all the Easter stuff will go in the garage for next year, nice and safely. And I've already started on the kitchen, so I'm going to put everything away nice and safely for next year. I just, I've loved it all actually. I'm going to keep this candle because this candle's lovely. And I might keep this little gnomey because this is just a springy, summery gnomey. Not necessarily a Easter gnomey. But this bunny's going, and I loved this. I can't wait to get this out again next year. But yeah, I'll show you how it all looks when we're done. I just got changed because it's really cold. So I've put a jump shot. And we're going to go for a walk. We've not been for a walk since Saturday. I think um so i cleaned all the stuff from the fireplace here this is what we're left with there's erin and lucy give us a wave <laughs> and then in here that's what we're left with and what i've got is in we've spent this morning watching adam and gary's new disney vlogs which really, i've got so much bronzer on we're gonna have to just ignore the fact that my face isn't watching, <laughs> doesn't match my neck. Um, I've got a box marked summer. So I actually went through these boxes the other day. Um, and in here is like, just kind of summery bits, like little candle holders. We've got vases, um, like florally bits, some pictures that I might wanna put up. So that's the plan. I've swapped the bunny for that. I've got rid of the Easter stuff here. He might still stay, but um, kids have got their scooters. They're literally looking at me like, you better hurry up. It is really cold today, so I'm gonna go and get their coats on and I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> oh, it's freezing. The kids are outside on the trampoline. and I'm like, oh. So I'm gonna do the main fireplace. I'm gonna do greens. And then I think the front room fireplace, I'm gonna do 
turquoises. That's the plan. Um, so this is all stuff from my box uh, that I swap. Which I'm sure some of you will be like, Emma, you are an excessive person. And I shall agree. But it makes me very happy. So I think the first... First thing I'm going to do is swap my, for goodness sake, you little glue little thing. I'm going to swap my, I love these twigs. I got gifted these twigs, I think three years ago, and we have them on every day. I absolutely love them. So I'm going to swap them out of my face. She's going to go in the front room. It's not act, that's not actually my face. Um... And I'm going to put the green one here. So I'm going to have green in this room. I'm going to move. This is a bit, this takes ages because I end up moving things a bazillion times. I'm going to have that plant, I think, in the middle. I'm going to keep the two little plants here. I'm not going to have loads of stuff. Uh, so green. My Nanny Joyce's vase, my fairy lights. That's going to go in the other room. I am going to get um, I want a green candle, I think. So I'm going to get my macaron candle. Macaron treats, tweet, tweets, treats. Which is... It says a festive candle, and it's definitely got a Christmassy vibe, but it just smells delict it delectable, delectable. So I'm going to have that on there as well. I'm not sure what I think about that. I'll put everything on here, and then I'll have to rearrange everything. I always feel so sad when I take down all the, uh, the decorations. It does... Fill my heart with doom. I think I'm going to get this little fake plant. And Stephen, sorry, I'm just like whopping you around everywhere, haven't I? Aren't I? <laughs> and Stephen got me this. I think. I think they found where the dog. The dog. The dog's escaped twice yesterday. And Stephen got me this for Mother's Day. I feel. So this is quite a good. Good little addition. So this, you know what? The the light's terrible. So I'm going to just do it rather than carrying you around like that the whole time. Do it and then show it you. That would be much more effective. Third outfit of the day. I'm now in my pajamas. I've got back. I'm going to start with the front room because I'm not quite as pleased with the front room. Um. All these just stuff been put away nicely in boxes. But well, it's quite dark in this room, isn't it? We need to... Our light broke about a year ago and we were going to get it fixed, obviously. We can't now, so we will at some point. So, this will probably change as and when I find different bits in the garage. But um, at the moment, it is. We've kept the little pom-pom thing, which I absolutely... A door, we've just got just some greeny, bluey bits, some little fake flowers and a nice candle. And then I got these pink pillows from Next um, about a month or so ago. So yeah, it's just basic in here. Got little pom-poms up there and the pom-poms match with the cushions. I think too exciting. And then in here, I really like the fireplace. Just doing the vacuum in. Oh, anybody else's house really dirty because it's full of dogs and children and humans all day. <laughs> so this is how I have set up a fireplace. We have got lots of real plants. That's a big real plant there, which is from Sainsbury's. These are all old. That plant pot there is um, from Co no Billund when I went with my sister to Denmark. And Stephen got me that little cactus for Christmas. There are my twigs. That vase is next sale from two or three years ago. Um, my managers bought me 
that um, big white company candle which is lovely for my book. That wicker basket is from a local garden centre and the plant is from H&M. Ikea plants, fake banana plant leaves. My lovely nanny's vase, my lovely nanny Joyce's vase. And then we've got a macaron treats candle and a little, a little Trader Sam's head with a fake plant. I don't know why I did that weird voice. But yeah, this is how it's gonna be for the moment. Maybe throughout the whole summer, maybe till Halloween, who knows, but for the mo, it's like a lot. Kitchen's just looking bare. I've moved a little pink plant into that grove, got my peony apple. And if I was going to have flowers in the house, which we haven't, I would have that yellow. I suppose I could put some, I have a lot of fake flowers. Maybe I could put some fake flowers and I'll pop that on there. And I've got, my, these. this is where we leave our stuff to be recycled, just here. And I've got my Raiden back again. And then that was how it was before. What do I bab, oh, and I took down a bunny sign and I put this sign up which Steve bought me when I went to Florida last year. And it's like, oh, it's quite hard, it's very dark. It's a, um, sewing thing that just says everything is possible it's much lighter in the flesh very dark here i'm giggling because i've come down to our office and i am um, <laughs> i didn't i didn't tell anybody so they're probably just up in the bedroom going hello like part of probably going emma you know and they just shout your name so i've come down here oh my god i'm gonna put a blanket on because it's a bit cold i've come down here uh because stephen inexplicably bought the um Hello. Inexplicably bought the um, H&M stuff down. Um, you remember that I had half the order. I'm not sure when the other half's come in, so it's not an issue. But <coughs> I thought I might as well show you this half so I can put it away. And the children can wear it. What has become clear since we are social distancing is that my children do not have enough clothes to social distance in. Um, I actually went through Erin's wardrobe at the weekend and there was clothes in there that were um, seven. She is nine, so, and she's not even a short nine. She's a tall nine. So, uh, I'm gonna go through and show you some of the bits and pieces that I got from H&M. At the time, there was 20% off, uh, which was really good, and it just means that, that we're covered. Um, we just simply did not have enough clothes. Erin, shoe-wise, has, no practical shoes that fit her at all apart from school shoes and giant big boots so i had to order some saltwater sandals as well um you might remember if you're an old subscriber that she had the same pair of saltwater sandals for about three years they're such good they're really really good they're very expensive but they are really good so for ethan i got this little hoodie i will try and find the um the prices so it was 10 quid but there was two pound off he has, he had hoodies, but they were like five to six, so they were like cropped on him, so we got him a hoodie. For Erin, I got some sort of spring leggings, uh, nine to ten, just nice stretchy material, and they were eight ninety nine, and I got £1.90 off. Uh, this little set's brilliant, and is six to eight, so in fact, a lot of the stuff for the kids is six to eight or eight to ten so it should last them next year as well which you know i love because i keep everything out there filed so we've got a mickey t-shirt this is a little set a donald t-shirt and he's going to love this one look the goof the goof t-shirt actually i kind of wish i bought those in erin's size as well never mind because they're lovely and they were for a three pack of t-shirts. It was 9 19 Oh no, that's for short. Three pack of t-shirts. It was 14 99 and I got three pound off. I bought Erin this hoodie, which says Fleur Forever. Um, as we know, she's get, she doesn't like pink and stuff, so I've gone for non-pink things, a little hoodie, because she doesn't have anything to kind of chuck on. I look ridiculous in my pajamas and a blanket, but there we go. Eight to 10, I like this little, simple little tea for Erin, and that was, do 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 That was 5.99, I got one pound 20 off, so that's quite good, 
quite good value. I thought that'd be quite nice with the leggings or with some shorts, the, the shorts that haven't come. And then I got two of these boxy sweatshirts, which is eight to 10, they were 7.99 each. And I got one pound 60 off uh, a yellow one and a black one. And I thought they'd be really good. She's been wearing a lot of athletic wear whilst we have been off. So I thought this would be good to just chuck over the top of the leggings. And then for Ethan, seven to eight, and these will definitely last next year because I know these are going to be quite long on them. There were three pack of shorts, nine ninety nine. They were two pound. All the shorts he's currently got are six to seven. A lot of them do still fit him, but he, I mean, they're a bit tight. <laughs> so yeah, that's some of the stuff. And then um, I'm awaiting some kind of shorts forever and I think oh I ordered I got them both some socks as well because Ethan was like mommy my socks don't fit me anymore so I got these are Erin's socks pack of 10 I let them pick which ones um so she picked the ones with the least amount of thinking so she likes these socks and they were for 10 pack of socks 8.99 I got £1.80 off so not too bad not too shabby uh what I will do in next week's vlog I'll show you Erin's wardrobe because me and Erin went through everything and I had been keeping hold of bonkers things like I was picking out like sequined pink dresses that were for tiny tiny little girls and Stephen found one of those because obviously the charity shops aren't open he found one of those drop off boxes so we he cycled round to there and, and dropped the stuff off so don't worry it's all gone gone to a good good a good home. Um, what else was I going to say? Ever mention this? If I have, I'm sorry. Animal Crossing. I'm obsessed. Let me know if you play Animal Crossing. And if you do play Animal Crossing, please could you let me know in the comments any kind of hacks or tricks or... I can't catch the fish. I find it very hard. Am I not being patient enough? It's very, very difficult. Love Animal Crossing, we've got one island and the four of us are on the island so we're having to kind of take it in turns, all the kids fight over and play together on the telly. Absolutely. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. The Easter Bunny um, bought it for a treat for the kids so we ha we've been playing that. What else have we been doing? Killing Eve's on tonight. I've still been loving The Nest. Been listening to loads of podcasts. Um, I didn't realise on Disney Plus that the Imagineering programme was more than one programme. Oh. So I've got a few episodes of that to watch. And that's what we've been doing really. Easter weekend, we just stayed in the house. Um, today we went for a walk. In fact, we hadn't been for a walk for a couple of days. Stephen goes out for a ride on his bike on a Saturday. Let me know how, what kind of stuff are you doing for exercise. Are you going for walks? Are you going for bike rides? Are you doing exercise in the house? Are you saying... Sod it, I don't want to do it, I just want to eat Easter eggs. Let me know. Yeah, we went for a long walk today, which was really nice, but it was absolutely, excuse me. <gasps> oh my gosh, it was so cold. It was bitter, I had a terrible night's sleep. If you follow me on Instagram, um, and I might have mentioned it on here, I have been struggling to sleep. And I thought it got better, but last night, I dreamt that um, my friend Sarah, and then my school friend Teju, I dreamt that they were both having their fourth baby and I had to deliver it. And it was really stressful. And I think that's because I watched The Nest. And I woke up and I was like, oh, so I only had a few hours sleep last night. <laughs> also, I'm on TikTok, which I think I mentioned before, and I'm loving TikTok. Um, it's really, really fun. I really enjoy it. It's so silly and it's such a good... Even if you're a bit older, if you're a bit like me, and you're like, oh, God, TikTok, man, that's for, like, young kids. I encourage my other friend, Sarah, to download it, and she was really laughing. It's really good fun. It's just silly. It's just silly stuff, and it's fun. It's just fun. So I definitely, definitely would, um, I recommend you downloading that. And even if you don't ever upload a video you can watch them it's just really really fun it's just really really fun i'm hoping for sunday's video if i have the bottle and the confidence i'm hoping to film like a um spring lookbook because some of you wanted me to do that and i've been thinking about the outfits that i want to put together i might get erin to help me tomorrow put some outfits because we're still on easter holiday and 
but it will be like me just prancing around my garden because obviously we can't really go anywhere maybe i might get one filmed on my social distancing walk as well uh, so i have been thinking about that because just do something a little bit different right my little leather ducks i hope you enjoyed this video uh let me know what you're up to in the comments i know a lot of you are key workers i've noticed a lot of nurses in the comments and big love to you uh, or people who work in shops or people who are admin that's still having to go in uh steven has been working from that desk so from tomorrow he'll be here at eight o'clock in the morning so he'll be back at work again and i'll be down with the kiddos trying to squeeze work in when i can um yeah i really appreciate it thanks so much for watching these videos um i know there's been a couple of ads pop up so thanks so much if you've commented or supported those it's really helpful um i really appreciate it we're all just trying to do what we can at the moment aren't we work wise it's it's a funny old time isn't it guys right i'm going to take these clothes back hang them up in erin's wardrobe Like, what the hell is that? I think it was just the stomach. <laughs> I'm gonna um, re replace my Nana's blanket. Yep, yeah, hang those up, and then I'm gonna watch Killing Eve, and I will see you in a couple of days for another video. Oh, 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 last thing. Last night, which hasn't happened yet for me, because it would have been Thursday, I did a Harry Potter quiz on Insta Stories Live. If you go now and go and watch it, so if you're watching this first thing in the morning at like seven, I mean, you're probably not. You've probably got other things to do. But if you're watching it early on, you will have until like 12 hours to, to, to take part of it. So if you want to take part in the Harry Potter quiz, go and, go and check that out. I do one every week on a Thursday, Disney or Harry Potter quiz. And it's just silly and we're just, we're just daft and we just talk a load of rubbish, really. Right, my loves, I will see you in a couple of days. Love you lots. Bye, guys.